Hi, and welcome back to another episode, brief episode, Two Blue People TV, where we talk about Arnold Jacobs all the time and half the time. Uh, Puddles and I are here in a lovely alley here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's a lovely alley <laughs> with some nice graffiti. Keep it at my eyes, please. Keep it at my eyes. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's much better. With Chuck Lazarus. Chuck, you're uh, in the trumpet section, both trumpet of the Minnesota Orchestra. That's right. Uh, for the last 18 years. That's correct. And uh, studied with many people along the way, including uh, Vince Penzarello. Yep. And you had one lesson with Arnold Jacobs. One lesson. That's and right. we were uh, we were just at dinner, and uh, we're here for this uh, Jim Stevenson Low Brass Concerto Week with the Minnesota Orchestra, uh, in honor and in memory of our dear friend Bill Zephas. And I we were just at dinner, and I uh, you mentioned that you had a lesson. I said, well, what was that like? And you said. Well, I have lots of friends and colleagues that have had lessons with Jacobs and studied with, with him for many years. I had one lesson, and I knew I was probably only, only going to have one opportunity to, to learn from him, so I came in armed with an arsenal of questions, and I learned a very valuable lesson uh, because I started asking the questions, and in the middle of all the questions, he, uh, he interrupted me and said, do you know the Stars and Stripes Forever. And I said, sure, I know Stars and Stripes Forever. Um, and he said, well, can you buzz it on your mouthpiece? And I said, sure. And he said, can you high step, march? And I thought, well, I guess. And then I'm thinking, you know, I'm having a lesson here. I don't really want to march. But <laughs> so he has me high step, march as high as I can. He's like, get your knees up higher, higher, higher. And he has me buzz, you know, nee, 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 nee. You know, I'm going through the whole thing. And frankly, I'm... I'm a little upset. I'm a little irritated. You're paying a lot of money. I'm paying for a lesson, and he's basically humiliating me in the lesson <laughs> as I'm marching around. But what I didn't realize is he was distracting me from, you know, uh, all of my dis uh, distractions and all my question asking, and was trying to get me to focus on, you know, just playing without overanalyzing and sending, making statements rather than asking questions. And so I learned from it for many years, but. It was pretty embarrassing at the time. And so when you so so he was getting you to not criticize while you're creating. When you left, did you understand that, or was it some time later that you that it came to you that that's? What uh, that? No, I, I got it by the end of the lesson because oh, okay. by the end of the lesson I was playing much better than when I came in. Oh, but were? but I would say for two thirds of the lesson it was I was mostly just angry that I had spent a large part of my lesson with the great Arnold Jacobs marching around, high-stepping, buzzing the stars and stripes forever. Uh, but it ended up being a really valuable lesson that I still learned, learned from. So I think of that anytime I get over and and ask too many questions or if I'm not feeling confident, I think about that. Just play. I don't march as much anymore. Maybe I should. <laughs> well, I mean, you're no spring chicken anymore, right? I know. It's probably good for the bones and joints and stuff. Yeah. I, keep doing I mean, uh, you've been doing this for a while. Yeah. yeah and you're very fun. famous in North Carolina. That's what I've heard. I can tell you that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Chuck. You're welcome. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And we will <laughs> be getting you your uh, Tuba People TV, or in this case, Trumpet People TV, lager bottle in the mail. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. That's really great. Cool. And now back to you.